American and Tibby Dad in Stouffville. Behind me, a sprawling Airbnb rental, usually listed as a space for parties and events. But last night, it became the scene of a homicide. Just after 4 o'clock in the morning, police were called to this residence on Bloomington Road with reports of shots fired. When they arrived, they found a man with a gunshot wound. He was pronounced dead on scene. The rental was reportedly being used for a prom after party by students at Bill Crothers Secondary School in Markham. Students that were at the party tell City News that hundreds gathered at the Airbnb. They also say partygoers were charged $10 in advance or $20 at the door. Students tell us they felt uncomfortable when a group who weren't in the high school arrived at the Airbnb and many of them left just after midnight. Uh, our appeal at this point in time is for anybody who is here overnight to please come forward and contact our investigators right away. Uh, we do believe that uh, at the very least there was a couple hundred people possibly at this residence uh, during that party uh, and, uh, and left again prior to police arrival. So if anyone did witness anything that happened here, we need you to reach out to the York Regional Police Homicide Unit right away. Just a short distance away on nearby Bethesda Road, a separate scene. Half an hour after the gunfire call, two young men were reportedly knocking on doors in the area, asking for someone to call them a cab. Officers arrested the men who were found hiding in the bushes, a handgun retrieved nearby. At this point, it's far too early to tell if these two scenes or these two incidents are connected to each other. However, given the, the reasonably close proximity to it, obviously our homicide investigators are looking in to see if there are any possibility that these two incidents are in fact connected. Early this morning, parents began arriving at the Bloomington residence in a panic, attempting to find their kids. The owner of this Airbnb listing also making her way to the scene, appearing visibly distraught before police escorted her away. Now, the two men who were arrested uh, uh, later that evening were due to appear in a new market courtroom today for a bail hearing. That hearing has been held over to May 10th.